Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today we're going to be taking a look at Su Young, who was originally introduced to me through a bunch of Dimash fans, so we're going to take another look at her. The first time I heard her, I was blown away by her great, really truly great technique. She sounded like Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston, and I've been dying to get back to her ever since. So today we're listening to Lean On Me. This song is originally by Bill Withers. There have been many awesome cover versions of it. One of those was by Michael Bolton, who is listed as being in this video too. I'm not sure if it's his arrangement or if he's in it. We're gonna find that out soon. Let's get to it. Okay, so 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 far, uh, I am again struck. Man, it's it's so good to hear her again. She sounds so good. Um, I learned a little bit more about her since the first impression. Found out she's been through some tough times. This woman had cancer at one point, so she's a cancer survivor. So when she talks about having tough times, you can feel it. It is truth. And I love that about any artist. I want to hear truth. I want to hear their message. Beyond that, the vocal technique is just spectacular. Even when she's doing runs, I love the way that she uses different vowels to help the runs be clean and even distinguish between different notes. Keep listening to that. We might actually go back to the beginning one more time and check it out and listen for that. Uh, and wow, her tone quality and her pitch are just immaculate, really beautiful. Let's go back and hear it one more time. Mm, I love that little scoop into it, very tasteful. Right there, sorrow woos. She does a brilliant job of modifying that vowel to help accent the riff that she's chosen. I also love just from the get go, she is ornamenting this with her own runs. It really it reminds me so much of Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, those choices. Um, but a little, um, almost like a little more angelic in the sound even. Super beautiful. Listen, listen to that sorrow run one more time. We nice. He thinks so too. I gotta stop it, but wow, I didn't want to. Um, oh goodness, I love the way that she, when she goes up, she can choose to go up with tons of volume or she can just gather it and go up. It, it says that she has so much access to all kinds of different parts of her voice. Um, so 
uh, sometimes she's going to go up into her head voice and she'll kind of um, pull it back a little bit. Or sometimes she's going to go up in like a full belt. And that's just awesome. Awesome. I remember that her belt was incredible too. So I'm excited to see what she does here. Um, but I love the way she plays with that. It's really clear that she's thought about exactly how she wants to push and pull on this piece. Oh, we're going to go back and catch that transition. Wow, it's so good already and it's a minute in. That's right, you should be clapping. I couldn't stop it. This woman is leveling up every single moment. It's like, she's not letting her chords rest at all. She's just going. It's really already a feat of endurance and I'm sure that's gonna keep going. Wow. And I I just feel this message so much from her already. I there is an essential truth that some artists bring to their music when you can tell that they mean it. You can see it in her face. You can see it in her eyes. She's really, uh, she has this message of people need to find uh, comfort. They need to have each other to support. And I, I love seeing that she's so committed to that message. Uh, even the way that she does her runs, they almost sound like pleading pleading for people to lean on each other. Ah, oh, she just seems like a beautiful person. We're gonna go back a little bit. Oh, did you hear those cool vowel things in the middle too? There are a few more times that she was going back and forth between different vowels to help accent her runs as well. Ah, oh, and there was another time that she just like took her whole connection just briefly up in a belt as if it were nothing. She just connected it, made no big deal of it, but it was a really high belting moment too. Do you want to hear that again? I know I do. Okay, but, but maybe it's here. I don't know. I might not have counted yet. Oh, I bet, I wonder if this is Michael Bolton's arrangement. I don't know, I don't know, I'm curious. Um, but he seems to be loving it. Um, this reminds me so much of Sister Act. Obviously, this is in her wheelhouse. She's having so much fun. Look at her smile. She's loose on stage. But you can also tell that she's grounded in her support at the same time. Okay, let's get it, uh, get that transition just a little bit again. Harry. Okay, my favorite part in that entire section was when she went under the pitch a little bit and she was like sliding up to it, being super bluesy. I loved that. 
it, I think that when people are really perfect in every way, sometimes it's hard to convince them to like really lean into some fantastic styling. Like, how do you make this just a little bit dirtier in the sound? Like, what can you do to give it that blues edge? And she took that pitch and she bent it down and then went back up into the center of the note. I loved that. And I love that she's capable of doing that with all the perfection. That's nice. That's really nice. Let's hear that one more time. She did it again. That scoop into there, it's fantastic. It's just fantastic to hear that along with the really pristine clean scene that she's doing. Okay, let's go back just a little bit, hear that one more time. Wow, okay, full belt up there, wow, let's talk about that, wow. There, there's one thing in here, it's that vowel, again, you hear her doing that and playing with it, but it's also this vowel modification that she's making on top. Instead of saying lean, she's singing lan, and that's uh, when you drop, for women especially, if they essentially drop their jaw and open up a little bit more when it's above the staff, which I'm guessing that's above the staff, meaning that it's, it's going to be above an F5, I think. Um, so if she's above there, she's really going to want to have more space. Base. I get that kind of tongue up and out of the way. It's better for high notes, essentially. So vowel modification 101, as a woman goes up, she tends to just open her mouth more, which makes it easier to sing things like lan instead of lean. If you sing lean up there, it's going to be a little bit more difficult and not as pleasant of a sound. So the way that she's playing with that vowel, so you know it's lean, but it's lean. It's so smart vocally at the same time as being such Fun stylization. I love it. Let's hear it again. <laughs> Guys, we need to hear it again. Sorry, we're going to go back. I want to hear that one more time. She just went up there and then kept going with the breath when she brought it down. She has amazing breath control. You have to change different amounts of breath energy when you're way high like that and you come back down. You guys probably heard me talk about that in Oogie Boogie recently. Um, she just did a very similar thing to what Jeff did where she's went up really high and then came back down and it was in the same breath. That was awesome. Let's listen to it again. This is an awesome arrangement. So what they did right here is they shifted it up a key, but took a lot of the instruments that were underneath and the beat 
um, they took that out. Um, so that means that we felt that energy rise because of the key shift. But right now they've let themselves space to bring back in more of the instrumentation and drums. They kept the rhythm going with clapping, but that's so that they could take it to the next level. I love that. And it's especially amazing because she just is, she feels like she's going up and up and up and up. It's great. Listen to that one more time. There's your key shift. See the bass is gone right now. Boom. I'm sure you noticed too, the way she shifted her vowels in those runs again. I love that technique so much, um, but I love the way that she was able to control this, um, the energy of the tempo at the, at the end. It all drops on, out underneath her and she essentially does this like final cadenza. And those are things that you see in opera fairly often, but not terribly often in mainstream pop music. You have to have somebody that has these kinds of chops to be able to continue to carry that load of energy from before and drive it home. There are not many people that can do that and she just nailed it. Let's go back and hear it one last time. Ooh, whew, it's so good. Ah, love that cry too. That was amazing. It is so fun to be able to just get to listen to and analyze amazing singing. And Su Young is great. She's fantastic. She has some of the most amazing belting technique that I've ever heard in a female voice in particular. Wow. She can take it so high. She's able to like really like narrow and focus the sound as she's going up, but she still drops her jaw so she doesn't have that like crazy tension or anything that's in there. She just drops her jaw wide open and still manages to laser that sound through. It's really, really impressive. On top of that, just taking a look at the way she shapes the song and her runs everywhere, uh, it is very impressive. She's, in she's very intentional um, and it's clear that not only has she had amazing vocal training, but she also feels and means the things that she's singing about. I'm a huge, huge fan of her, and I definitely hope that we get to see some more of her on this channel. So sound off below in the comments what videos you'd like to see in addition to this one. Uh, let me know if there's any so young ones that you want to hear, and let me know about other requests as well. In addition, if you want to talk more about some awesome music or continue to influence requests, you should join the Patreon. We have a very active Discord channel and I chat with them there a couple times a week. Sometimes we even play games together. It's pretty awesome. You should join it. And I hope that I'll see you on this channel every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Arizona time. I premiere videos and there's a live chat during that as well. So come on in, say hi, and I'll hope to see you somewhere soon.